Dramatis Hyperformis. It is characterized by eruptions of burning and intensely pruritic papules and vesicles. The most common sites affected are the scalp, back, buttocks, and the extensor surfaces of the limbs. The face, groin, palms, and soles are usually spared. Vesicles may not be present on physical examination due to scratching. Instead, only excoriation, erosions, and crust may be present. Areas of depigmentation may occur following resolution of the lesions. Most patients also have gluten enteropathy to some degree. Fortunately, the majority of patients do not develop gastrointestinal symptoms due to celiac disease. These patients are also at risk for intestinal lymphoma and autoimmune disease such as hypo- and hyperthyroidism, type 1 diabetes mellitus, and pernicious anemia. The diagnosis is confirmed with direct immunofluorescence of a skin biopsy. False negatives may occur if the patient is already on a gluten-free diet. Serologic markers support the diagnosis and are also helpful for follow-up. The total IgA level must also be assessed when evaluating these seromarkers because selective IgA deficiency occurs with increased frequency in patients with celiac disease. These pruritic blisters are treated with dapsone and the elimination of gluten from the diet. The patient should be informed that although the lesions may respond to dapsone therapy alone, they will not usually resolve unless the patient stays on a gluten-free diet. For those with gluten enteropathy, dapsone does not have any protective effect on intestinal damage.